children let us start construction of a triangle in which one of base is given one of the base angle is given and difference of the two remaining sides is given so first of all let us write the given information qr is equal to 6 cm angle q is equal to 60 degrees and pr minus pq is equal to 2 cm let us draw the rough sketch before we start the actual construction Q R six centimeter. Angle Q is sixty degrees. This will be the inclination of sixty degrees. We have to stop here a little bit. P is lying anywhere on Q R, but it is given that P R minus P Q is two centimeter. That is P R is longer than P Q. So we can reduce. We have to reduce this line because P R is longer. So this will be longer. So it is very important to decide which one is longer, which one is shorter. Here it is, sixty degrees. So I anticipate that the actual triangle will be similar to this which we have drawn here. Let us start the actual construction. First of all, we need to draw the base. Base is equal to six centimeter. Let us draw the line segment QR. is equal to 6 cm now at ang at q we have to draw an angle of 60 degrees let us draw an angle of 60 degree at q i hope it is quite visible to you clearly here is 60 degrees just a moment children now we just join p to this point of intersection of the arcs we can do this way it will be better but one thing i would do here i'll extend this line in the backward direction also why i have done this let me explain it to you it is given we can see here that pr is longer than pq that is difference of these two is 2 cm in case the side opposite to the angle is longer we need to cut the difference the intercept equal to the difference on the backward side of the actual line so the difference is 2 cm we will measure 2 cm on the ruler using our compass and then the same steps which we have followed earlier will be repeated this is 2 cm from here by keeping a compass my compass here i'm just yes here it is this arc it is representing 2 cm now we will join this by c uh, we have to name it as earlier we have taken it as x y and this is taken as p q r we can take is at t now we join q r 
this is not the main side of the triangle so I am using dotted broken lines to draw it after this we will draw perpendicular bisector as we used to draw in other figures also other construction perpendicular bisector of this line segment here Yes, we have got two points on the opposite side of this line segment. This is not Q. Q is here in fact. We will join these two. This will be also broken lines as it is not the main side of the triangle. Now this perpendicular bisector as we know earlier also, it as the point where it is intersecting the previous line or the line making an angle with a base that is the vertex the third vertex of the triangle that is P now as we have got P we will join it to R now this is P R we have got the side P R so P Q R I am erasing this Q children it will uh, you will get confused because here it is this point is actually T and here it is Q. Right. So P, Q, R is the required triangle. So you can see that whatever we have drawn earlier, it is exactly similar to that. So now we can write here that triangle P, Q, R or you write P, Q, R is the required triangle. Children you see here we can by measurement we can justify that difference of the two sides is equal to 2 cm. Here you see this is 5.2 cm and here this is 3.2 cm. PR is 5.2 cm and PQ is 3.2 cm. This we can verify using actual measurement. And the difference of PR and PQ is 2 cm here. Also we know that this distance 2 cm because PT and PR they are exactly equal. P lies on the perpendicular bisector of TR. So PT and PR are equal and this distance is equal to 2 cm. Understood? So this line PR minus PQ is also 2 cm. Okay.